Good morning, Jam Champs. My name is Jasmine. And my name is Kendall. Kendall, did you know that there's only six more days until Valentine's Day? Wow, I better get my candy grams. And, and you're, you're watching, watching JMA, JMA News. News. Soccer practice will be meeting Mondays and Tuesdays. Spanish club meets Tuesday until 3.55 in Senora Schaffner's room. Art club will be held this Wednesday after school till 4. There will be a good behavior dress down tomorrow for those with three or less marks on their card. The math enrichment workshop will be meeting Monday through Thursday for the rest of the week. Do you know it's $1, sweet, and comes on a stick? Candy grams. Whether you want to buy some for your friends or that special someone, they're sold during your lunch period to benefit NJHS. Valentine's Day is not so far away, so get your candy grams today. Here's some chocolate, Jasmine. Thanks, Kendall. Hmm, I wonder what the most popular candy on Valentine's Day in Florida is. All I know is the M&Ms are my favorite, but that does bring us to our question of the day. What is the most popular Valentine's Day candy in Florida? Is it A, conversation hearts, B, chocolate, C, candy necklaces, or D, Hershey kisses? If you answered A, conversation hearts, then you are correct. Wow. I cannot believe conversation hearts are the top Valentine's Day candy in Florida. Those are one of my favorites. We'll be back after these messages. Do you have your belt on? Is your shirt tucked in? Well, that's not right. Are your friends waiting for you constantly? If so, put on your belt, tuck in your shirt, so you can be dressed for success and do your very best. Today I'll be showing you how to make this fast and easy Valentine's Day DIY. The things you'll need are pretzel rods, chocolate, and a topping of your choice. Then put your chocolate in a microwave safe container. Then pop your chocolate in the microwave for 30 second intervals. making sure to mix every 30 seconds. Next, lay your pretzels down on parchment paper. Then, dip your pretzels in the chocolate. Now before they dry, grab your toppings and sprinkle whatever type you like on. Let them dry. After they dry, you can package them in fun bags to give to friends or just enjoy them yourselves. The word of the week is crop, which means to cut or trim. Bella had to crop the paper to make the perfect just because card. Next up is Ella, Michelle, and Cade with their special reports. I cannot wait to see this. I'm here to talk about this day then and now, February 8, 2018. On February 8, 1922 was a big day at the White House. On this day, President Harding had a radio installed. At the time, radio was the hottest technology there was. Almost two years later, Calvin Coolidge, who followed Harding, was the first president to broadcast from the White House. Before that historic broadcast, radio had played a big role in Coolidge's victory in the 1924 presidential election. The night before the election, Coolidge made history when the largest radio audience ever tuned in to the broadcast of his final campaign speech. Coolidge won the election easily, and in March, Americans listened for the first time to hear the president take the oath of office on the radio. We have several birthdays today. Happy birthday to Bethany Hamilton. She will be turning 28 today. She is an American surfer who became famous for continuing to compete professionally after losing her left arm to a 15-foot tiger shark when she was 13. She appeared in the 2011 film called Soul Surfer, which was a story about her and her amazing adventure. Also, happy birthday to Clay Thompson. He will be turning 28 today. He was drafted 11th overall by the Golden State Warriors in 2011. He helped the Warriors win NBA championships in 2015 and 2017. Him and Stephen Curry became known as the Splash Brothers for their outside shooting abilities. And that's what happened on this day then and now. Hello and welcome to the President Talk where we will be talking about me. I'm George Washington. I was born on February 22, 1732 in Westmoreland, Virginia. If you didn't know, I was the first President of the United States, Commander-in-Chief of the Continental Army, 
and president of the Constitutional Convention. These are roles which I showed character and leadership. I would fit in very well at Jude Academy because I know what an IB learner looks like. Did you know that I never lived in the White House? I established the Cabinet of Advisors and I only vetoed two bills while in office. I died on December 14th, 1799 of smallpox. And that's all for today's President Talk. Today, February 8th, there are a few national days I would like to share with you. Our first national day is National Kite Flying Day. Kites date back to 470 BC in China. Stories have been told that kites were used for fishing, spying on enemies, and or sending messages. Today, kites are famous for hobbies or outdoor fun. Our next national day is National Clean Out Your Computer Day. We celebrate this day to take needed care on our computers. Over the course of time, unused files clog up memory in your computer. Deleting unused files also decreases your risk of viruses to contaminate or destroy your computer. This day is designated for you to take some time out of your busy schedules and organize your computer. And lastly, today is National Boy Scouts Day. This day celebrates boys across America doing good deeds, learning much about survival skills, and developing moral foundations. In 1916, the Boy Scouts movement begins in England, but endorsements for the program began in the United States in Pahuska, Oklahoma. You may apply as a Boy Scout online or at your local Boy Scout Council. Today is a day to appreciate all the hardworking Boy Scouts out there. And that concludes our National Days today. And now it's time for Quote of the Day. Every day is a new day, and you'll never be able to find happiness if you don't move on. Carrie Underwood. That's all we have for you today. Stay focused on your work and do your very best. See, See you around, around campus. campus.